Yo, what's good people? I'm Eddie and this is the second part of my Achilles Hill tendon journey. Yep, this is the second week and progression is going well. I'm still in the cast as you can see on this piece of footage, changing from a cast into a four wedged boot. This is the wonderful woman that's going to assist me with my leg today. They say you never trust a woman with a blunt object. Well, this woman's got a drill in her hand. There's no way this can, this can cut my leg though. Okay. This is going to be a lot of relief, you know. I know. Do you know what? They're, they're not comfortable things to say. Really. Yeah. We, we try to make them as comfortable as possible, but I mean. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest though, like um, I was feeling itchy the other day and I, I, I stuffed the ruler down to just try and like scratch my leg, you know? So I think it may have, may have went a little bit looser. Yeah, we tried to encourage people not to stick to the but... It was unbearable. It's very tempting. Yeah. Oh, I can't bear to see my, my leg. It's probably as dry as a, a nut. <laughs> yeah. They look quite funny when they come out of the car. Yeah. Yes, freedom. Freedom's almost here. Okay. Oh, wow. What I'll do is I'll see which one of the doctors free just to come and have a feel of it. Yeah. Okay, just left up for me. Doesn't look that bad. Not too bad, though. I can feel my legs going really weak, though. Like. Yeah, it would feel yeah. a bit funny at first. So, this is my leg without the cast off. A bit dry. Looks like it's coming along good though. Swelling's gone down. Okay, okay do you want to start what we're going to do? Uh, yeah, we're, we're putting on a boot, right? Um, we're going to put on a boot and we're going to gently increase it by um, 30 degrees over the period. Okay. Uh, until it gets back to neutral. And yeah. And then after that, we keep it for another couple of weeks and then we get you in that boot. Okay. All right, it's cool. a long wait going at the end. All right, well. All right. The boot that I'm going to put you in is called an air cast boot. Air cast boot. Um, but the air cast boot um, is designed for rehab. Cool, cool. So this you can wash at nice. home. Yeah. Do it I... just fits on like a boot, so you just kind of like fold into it. Yeah. Um, I'll feels... put the wedges for you. I'm going to put four in, and we'll see how we go with that to start with. All right. It feels more comfortable already, just having this thing on my foot. Oh, yeah, no, they're horrible things, aren't they? For us? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's in like that. Okay, so these so are the wedges. So what they'll do is they'll, you start taking one off from the top every uh, two to three weeks when the physio goes through it. They'll judge your rehab and how you're how you're doing as to whether you need um, one every two weeks or three weeks. Okay. okay. So would you suggest like if I really take care of myself, rest as much as I can, mm -hmm. eat the right foods, can start, I can start doing some walking through it, but just don't put too much weight through it. Yeah. Um, of course with the, just a with good, the good diet, a good balanced diet, uh, protein and, and calcium. So these are the wedges. I have four wedges uh, put in, just to so help the angle of my leg. At the moment. Yeah. Just bend your knee. So you put it on like you're putting a boot on. Heel right to the back, like that. So you're still in Aquinas, yeah? Yep. Yeah. I think the main problem before was just the swelling. The swelling was like... Elevate it as much as you can still, because yeah. you can get swelling for about two to three months after yeah. an injury, yeah? Do I still take the injections, the blood thinning injections? Um, that, um, how many have you got left? Um, I have quite a few. I have like two boxes, so... Um, Until you're fully putting weight through it, I'll continue. You probably can start thinking about coming up and they're only a very low dose, but... Um, yeah. Okay. How's that feel? Uh, it feels strange. It's heavy. Cool. Really so, heavy. So, that's you set up properly and the physios will go through it with you. Okay. Keep an eye on still any new pain, any referred pain, any um, radiating pain or anything like that, yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah, one other thing, it feels slightly stretched from like, you know, the, the back stretched. part as well. Really stretched. So, you're probably a bit higher than you were before. And what yeah. it does, it relaxes your Achilles tendon so that it can repair and then in stages you're going to put more weight through it and, and, and stretch it out further. Okay? Alright. Does that make sense? So, so if I have my leg straight, is it good to kind of stretch my leg? Or, or like stretch you it? You can so do just 
Because that as is. As long as you're not going, as long as you're not bringing your, your heel, your, your toes oh, up towards you, so oh, okay. just let it be natural. It's quite a pro. It's a process that probably um, take you about six, six to eight weeks. Okay. Okay. Six. And then eventually, once you get onto the flat without the wedges, if you feel you need a bit more um, security around the ankle, you can pump it up by pressing that. Either okay. side pumps them up, and then the valve just press the valve behind under the cap, mm -hmm. and that will release it. But you won't be at that stage at the moment because with the wedges in, if you pump it up, you just pop it. <laughs> okay. Yeah? All right. All right. If Cheers. Thank problems, you. Cool. All right. Okay, so this is the the new boot that I'm in. Feels a little bit more comfortable than the cast, I have to say, and I can put my leg on the ground. You know what I mean? I don't need to worry about the ground being too wet. So it's all good. And it looks a little bit stylish as well. Kind of goes with my outfit, you know. I can bust a little skank. So it's all good. Okay, so this is just a quick update on my Achilles tendon injury. Um, there's another video of the first week. So if you're just seeing this video, go back to the last video just to, you know, just to be in sync with my story, my journey. Anyway, um, so the boot has been really positive. Um, in fact, that I'm, I'm walking and it seems like as if uh, my leg is strengthened and re pretty much recovered, but um, obviously that's not the case. Uh, my feet is still in this kind of position, pointing down. Uh, so like you saw in the last clip, they said every two weeks, uh, they're gonna bring it straight and straighter until my feet is back to normal. So I'm gonna be using this boot for a good six weeks, um, which in hindsight, I'm not really looking forward to it, but it has it's necessary, so. You know but this boot has been positive just the fact that it's, it's very comfortable it really protects the leg um, it feels as if you're kind of your feet my feet is straight I don't know it's quite weird um, after one day um, my mom told me why don't you just start walking start taking your first steps you actually need to try and you know weight bear on the on, on the leg so it got me thinking yeah let me just uh let me try walk so I've been still doing the same things pretty much um, you know, just doing my like everyday things. The, the weather's got much better, so I've been going out, um, enjoying the sun, you know, going out to bars and stuff, trying to keep my mind positive. I've still been training as well, still been going to the gym, um, which I don't really find too awkward because I can still train certain areas like my upper body, my arms. Um, I can still do abs as well. Uh, the good thing about the, this boot as well, um, I can actually take the boot off. Um, so I don't know, I've been, I've watched other vlogs and other vloggers have kept the boot on even when they were showering or um, going to sleep. Um, as for me, I feel more confident with my legs. So when I do sleep or shower, I'd, I pretty much take it off completely. And, um, there's another compartment where you can take the main shell of the boot or you can keep the soft part of the boot, which is much more comfortable. It's just like wearing a, I don't know, like a, um, it's just like wearing some tights pretty much. So it's been a little bit more comfortable. Looking forward to week three when I believe I start my physiotherapy. So I make sure I keep you all updated with the process. I make sure I film every situation just to kind of keep you more informed with what kind of exercises you need to do to keep the leg as mobile as it can. I also keep you all updated with the types of food that I'm eating. I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious of what I eat now, just the fact that I've been gaining a bit of weight. Um, it's only natural that you'll gain weight whilst uh, being injured like this. But the route that I'm trying to go in is to reduce the amount of calories that I eat. And I try to eat the best, most nutritious kind of foods just to, just to maintain the weight. A bit pissed off that I can't do cardio, I can't do running like I used to, but I can still kind of manage my weight. So I'll catch you in week three. See you soon. Peace.